this is Stampy, and welcome to a, a brand new Let's Play on a game called Super Mario Maker. Well, I think it's actually just called Mario Maker. I don't know, maybe it's called Super Mario Maker. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a game which allows you to, to make Mario games, and uh, this is just the menu. And oh, I died. I died in the menu. <laughs> I don't know how many other games you can fail before you've even pressed play yet. Uh, but yeah, so you are allowed to make whatever Mario levels uh, you want. Uh, so let's uh, press create and uh, and get started then, shall we? There we go. Let's uh, uh, make a, a nicer menu for ourselves. Uh, so as I'm playing this, uh, this is the, the day the game came out. And uh, you start off without very many things unlocked. You can see the uh, the top of the screen. Uh, these are all the, uh, the different things I can build out of. Uh, but it did come up with a message saying new items coming soon. So hopefully uh, they might show up uh, during the, uh, the episode. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So, of course, because I'm Stampy Cat, you can see as I build, <laughs> there's a big cat paw coming up. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually building a level for Squishy. Okay, I'm going to build her a level and she's going to play through it. And uh, she's at the uh, the same time building me a level. So uh, hopefully she's, uh, she's going to be nice and build a, a pretty level for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, to start off with, uh, I'm going to be quite nice to, to her. So uh, the plan is, is that uh, we're going to be doing this uh, a few times. And uh, there's a few different styles you can be in. So this is the uh, the old Super Mario style. But you can, oh no, that's not the, the right thing. Uh, you can change the, uh, the background. But I uh, can also change it uh, to look like uh, the styles of different Mario games. And there's a few different ones. I've only got the uh, the two at the uh, the moment. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's start building. So seeing as uh, I don't think she's played Mario a huge amount, and this is going to be her first time playing this game, I'm going to start off quite nice. I'll give her a um, a mushroom to, to start with, and I'm going to start off with a, a few pretty easy safe jumps, and then I'm going to gradually get a little bit harder, but yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be nice. I want to make a fun level uh, rather uh, than a really hard level. So let's go and do a, a first few jumps here. So if I go and kind of build up like this. Uh, she's going to have to go and jump over here. And it's really easy to build. Oh! A delivery truck has arrived! Uh, that's a bit sooner than we were expecting. Oh, brilliant! Perfect timing! Have I got new things now? What's happening? I can hear a, I can hear a truck arriving. Um, right. New course elements are now available. Would you like to play a sample course? Uh, I'm not going to play the course, but I want to see the uh, the new stuff. Aha! There's a new arrow here. Perfect timing. Right. Looks like we've got a uh, a few new toys that we can uh, play with and we can uh, uh, use them a little bit later on. So I guess, can I just uh, switch between what I have at the top? Right, brilliant. Anyway, let's go and uh, carry on building then. So I'm going to do a few easy jumps and I'm going to make sure they're safe jumps. So I can immediately switch uh, between building and playing. And so I want her to jump, but I don't want her to be able to fail straight away because then I don't think she would like me very much. So <laughs> what I could do is make it so she kind of needs to jump up, uh, but she can't fail. And then uh, how about if I make it so there's a difficult jump here, uh, but if she falls, uh, she'll land on some ground down here and be able to, to try it again. And then eventually, I'm going to make things get a little bit harder and uh, start adding in some enemies. So I can just erase things uh, using my uh, little eraser down here. And uh, yeah, let's go and uh, let's go and open up a little path here uh, so she can uh, fit through there. Oh, actually, she's not going to fit through there unless she's uh, small. So let's go and make that a little bit bigger. And uh, let's just make sure that this jump is actually possible. And there we go. Easy peasy job. Oh, <laughs> but I failed on the, the other side there. Luckily, I just go straight into the uh, the level builder. Uh, right then, let's go and uh, carry on. I guess I need to, to block this off down here. Uh, because otherwise you could just ignore all of the other uh, jumps and uh, head straight over there. And uh, let's start adding in some, some enemies then, shall we? Let's go and uh, make it a little bit more challenging and uh, add in a, a few enemies for her. So... What you can do is that you can actually stack a bunch of enemies to, together. So I could go and get these little Goombas here and put them all in a, a pile. And then that way she needs to go and uh, just break her way down through them all. So if I kind of do uh, this and then maybe uh, let's do something to block her path here. Let's do a... Um, uh, let's maybe just make it, tell you what, let's make it so she has a choice of going two different routes. So she could go down through these Goombas, or she could carry on heading this way, but there'll be some uh, other challenges. Let's maybe put some piranha plants uh, just uh, around here, uh, which are going to be pretty difficult to, to get over. So that's one path she could do, and then there's uh, another path down below. So if we make the path down below easier, but maybe at the end of this path, uh, we could have a, a reward for her, just in case uh, she is able to, to do this one. So let's put a, uh, a question mark here and we could put a uh, another uh, mushroom in there and then we could maybe put a uh, uh, we could put a stone no no forget the mushroom get that mushroom out of there how do we get the mushroom out there we go <laughs> shake the uh, the 
mushroom out. That's cool. And uh, let's put a um, let's put a star inside of this one here, uh, which will be the uh, the reward uh, if she goes the uh, the difficult path. And then yeah, let's go and build uh, the uh, the path down here uh, as well. Then so um, what should we do down here? I can make it so there's um. Hmm, uh, I don't want to do some jobs. Let's try and do some different enemies down here then. I could go and uh, add in one of these things. So these guys, uh, you can't jump on them uh, because they got spiky back. So this will make it uh, difficult for her to, to get over the uh, the areas down here. So maybe if I put a, a few of these uh, in kind of like, not cages, but little areas like this, uh, then she needs to go and try and jump over all of them. And so it'll be slightly difficult, uh, but not as hard uh, as going the uh, the other path. So let's go and put, uh, put one down here as well and then go and fill in a, a little bit more of the ground so this is the uh, the safer route uh, but there's no reward at the uh, the end of the the tunnel if she goes this way <laughs> right then let's go and get a let's try and get a bit more inventive then let's try uh, out some of these other things i could give her a fire flower now and then just let her go crazy and just kill a load of enemies i can make a really scary looking room full of loads of enemies uh, but then actually just give her a fire flower so it's really easy to destroy them all i think i'm gonna do that so uh, let's make it so she can kind of uh, uh, jump up here a bit and you can see just how easily you can fill all of the the ground in so she can go and jump up to, to here and then I'm gonna do a, a big pit uh, full of googlies down here Mario googlies <laughs> uh, that she needs to go and uh, try and get past and oh this is the the end of the level I can though I uh, just go and drag it out and uh, make the uh, the level a little bit longer so I'm gonna use these bricks instead uh, just for a, a bit of a, a change and I make it so she needs to go and get through that uh, little ending there uh, but this is gonna be a room just full of everything nasty in Mario <laughs> and then at the the end uh, she needs just to go and uh, jump out like this and because it's raised uh, the enemy shouldn't be able to, to get out so uh, we can go and put in a, a bunch of goombas like this I actually think I can copy them if I do um uh, this, yeah, I can go and uh, just copy them, I think. There we go, like this. And so we could do uh, some Goombas here. And then in the middle, we can put down some Koopa Troopers, like this. And then let's go and put some Goombas uh, down on the, the other side, like this. And then we need to make a way so she can't get over the top as well. So what uh, could we add down there? Um, oh, these are like moving platforms, I think. Oh, look, yeah, I can set there's arrows. So I can set uh, how they move. I definitely want to go and uh, use one of them in a minute. And oh! Underwater set will be available soon or hopefully she doesn't make an underwater level. They're always the worst <laughs> Right, let's go and make something pretty deadly uh, on the uh, the top here uh, Let's go and put some of these down and if we kind of just cover the the top with them uh, Then yeah, she definitely uh, won't want to go that way. Well, let's make a tiny gap just so if she does want to risk it, uh, she can go the, the top if she wants. And actually, she does have a fire flower, I think. Uh, the fire flower will, um, uh, will get rid of them. Can we get rid of this guy? Ooh! Oh, look, I just made a little cloud. Ooh, let's experiment with this. <laughs> so what I can do is I can just go here and press play, and I can just go and test out this little arrow. Oh, look, they all drop off the edge. Okay. What does the cloud do? Oh, look, I can fly. I can fly in the cloud. Right, I think I'm going to use the, uh, the cloud uh, a little bit later on. I didn't want these guys to drop off though if I shake them I think that might make it so they don't drop off uh, let's press play and see uh, if a couple of them don't drop off. oh look they yeah they don't move I could just use that uh, just uh, to make uh, a load of spikes so let's just get rid of all of them and then let's go and add them back down uh, but I can just copy and paste one that I've uh, uh, gave a, a little shake and then that way this is just gonna be uh, like a, a whole load of spikes but I think she still might be able to shoot them with the uh, the fly uh, the fire flower I'm gonna get rid of this uh, cloud as well uh, but I think we're gonna go and use that next I like the, uh, the idea of that. Well, actually, I got an idea. Let's make a, a bit of a, a puzzle for her. So what we could do is if we add in some of these bricks, these bricks uh, can't be destroyed by jumping on them. Uh, but if uh, she gets a, a Koopa Trooper to bang into them, uh, they actually get destroyed. So I could uh, try doing that. Uh, but I want to make sure uh, that she can get through in case she doesn't do it right. So uh, actually, I think I will use these bricks instead now uh, along the uh, the bottom. Uh, so let's go and give this a go. I also want to make sure that if she does fail, uh, there is a, another way uh, that she can get past. I never want her to be uh, completely stuck. So actually, I don't think I'm going to have them quite here. I'm going to have them uh, around about... Uh, if I do this here, 
and then if I go and put this fella down here, I might put him in a, a question mark block. And so that way she's going to think she's getting a reward, but it's just a baddie. <laughs> and then I can go and put uh, these along here. And I might put loads of them because it's really cool uh, when it gets destroyed. Uh, so I might go and add in a, a bunch of, uh, of these. Uh, I'm going to go and get rid of this like this. Um, it's actually uh, pretty good. Like I've literally only been playing uh, for about five minutes before I've started recording. And you can see uh, how easy it is uh, just to, to get the hang of what you're doing and be able to, to build. So uh, we're once again getting close to the end. So I'm going to drag that back there a little bit and go back to here. So the idea is that shell uh, will destroy all the, the ground. So I might actually uh, do another one here uh, with another Koopa Trooper in uh, just in case the, uh, the first one doesn't work. And I want to make it so she can't too easily uh, jump up here. Well, actually, I could make it so she can jump up there, uh, but there's just uh, a bunch of, uh, of enemies uh, which she would uh, have to, to deal with. So uh, let's go and put some of these here. And I'm putting the uh, the red ones down uh, because I believe the, the red ones uh, don't walk off the uh, the edge of the, uh, the area. So let's go and uh, put some of these down. I can also put wings on them as well. Did you know that? If I put wings on them, I can have some of them flying around here as well. Just for just for fun, I'll have a, a few flying ones in the, the air as well. Just to make it a bit harder. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, test out this area and see if it works. Yeah, so they're not jumping off the edge. But if I bang into this, that should fall down. And I want to try and make it destroy all the, the bricks. There we go. You see, it's going in like breaking its way through the, the bricks like that. I can use that to destroy a path. Uh, so then that way, uh, I'm able to, to get through. Uh, but I would uh, need to, to be small to be able to get through. So if she still has a, a mushroom, uh, she's going to have to, to get small in order to fit through. Actually... That makes quite a cool puzzle. What I could do is I could give her uh, a mushroom uh, right here. So then that way I know she's going to be big and then she has to hurt herself. Otherwise, she is not uh, going to, to be able to get through. And then if I leave a little gap here, uh, then that means that shell's going to, to drop off and uh, get out of the, the way. I shall make this a, a little bit of a, a bigger job. I think uh, by this point, I can make uh, things a little bit harder for her. <laughs> and uh, now I think I'm going to add in the, uh, the the cloud that I had from, from earlier. So uh, what I might do is I'll grab the, uh, the cloud and I'm going to put that... Uh, about here. I'm going to shake my little fella out of it uh, so Squishy can get it. But I'm going to make it so she has to jump on one of the uh, the flying Koopa Troopers uh, in order to, to be able to get it. So if I put this guy about here and put wings on him, uh, I think she will need to bounce off him in order to, to get the cloud. If I kind of arrange it a bit like this. Uh, there's a chance you might be able to jump straight in the cloud, but I think it would be quite difficult. So let's see if this is a uh, if this is possible and bounce and oh, nearly. I think it's possible. I think I just didn't do it very well though. So let's go and uh, have a, another go if we can. Let's go and run and jump and oh, <laughs> maybe this is a little bit harder than I thought it was. Let's have a another go. Oh look, they gave me uh, some little pink blocks to, to stand on so I didn't die. Or right, let's go again and boom. Right, I think I'm gonna make the uh, the cloud slightly closer. I think it is possible, uh, but it is quite difficult as well. And tell you what, uh, what I might do is... Um I might make all of this higher and then do uh, some blocks underneath. Uh, so if she does fail, she won't be all the way back to the beginning. Because I don't believe uh, you can do checkpoints. So uh, what I could do is, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, what I meant to do was grab this fella and uh, move him up here. And then I move the, the cloud about there. And then I'm going to add some blocks underneath here. Uh, so if she fails, uh, she can go and uh, have another go. So I can do a little path going like this. And uh, yeah, then that way uh, she's going to, to be able to, to jump back up uh, if she uh, if she fails. So let's uh, let's go and give this a go. This seems to be a little bit nicer now. <laughs> and uh, let's just see. I think you might be able to jump straight in the the cloud. Uh, so now, seeing as she's uh, not going to to die, uh, I might make it a little bit more difficult. I move the uh, the cloud uh, a little bit further away like this. And uh, let's see if uh, let's see if this was possible. Then I made it a bit hard because uh, she's only jumping from from one block. And then let's go and jump and but oh, I think. You might be able to make it uh, straight in the, the cloud. I'm going to make sure I can do it at least once uh, before I hand it over to, to Squishy, uh, just because I want to make sure it's possible and bounce. And oh, the cloud disappeared. Oh no, the clouds don't stay there. Um, okay, let's uh, let's forget the, the cloud idea then. <laughs> Obviously, they don't uh, hang around. Uh, I'll just leave it up here somewhere just in case it does show up. Uh, but yeah, let's instead uh, let's just go and make some. Um, uh, I could make a big pipe here. Why not? Let's not let's uh, let's make a big pipe and let's put it about here. And uh, I can actually put it down here and then drag it up. 
And uh, I don't know how to make it so you go down a pipe, to be honest. Uh, but let's just make it so there's a, a big pipe there. And I could put a, a piranha plant in it as well. And I think this is just about a good time to, to end the, the level here. So if I bring uh, this back, and uh, there we go. So that way she needs to go jump on the, the pipe. And then if I do one uh, little, well, I do three little platforms here. And then I can make it so she jumps on that, jumps on that, and then jumps to the, the end. Right then, before I uh, hand this over to, to Squashy for her to have a go, uh, let's go. And uh, see if I can even complete it myself. And oh, there's a rogue block at the, the top of the screen. And that's annoying me. So let's go and get rid of that. And oh, I accidentally put a spring in as well. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, give this a go. I can't even remember uh, how the uh, the beginning of the map was. So uh, let's go and uh, see if how well I can remember. Uh, so yeah, I've got to go and do here. These are the, the safe, easy jobs. And oh yeah, I got the choice of two different ways to, to go. Uh, let's go down this way. Let's go and see how this little Goomba pile works. Oh no, I need to die here, don't I? There we go. I can die and then go through here. And then I need to... Oh! <laughs> right, this go. I'm going to try going along the uh, the top route then. So uh, this way I can keep my mushroom and uh, hopefully also uh, get the uh, the star. So let's go whoop along here like this. And oh no, looks like I fell down anyway, right? Looks like we're doing this way. Oh look, I can jump really high this way. Um, yeah, I can get hurt here. And then now go and uh, try and keep heading this way like this. And then to here and then whoop, just about <laughs> made it over. Right then, um... Oh, I haven't given myself the fire flower. I'm supposed to have a fire flower here, aren't I? This is why you test your levels. Right, this bit is going to be quite difficult. Um, oh, that was quite good, actually. Check that out. Right, let's go and try and knock one of those. Um, I want to try and get this Koopa, uh, so it's going to destroy all the, the Goombas. And then I need to now go and try and stop the shell. That didn't go well. Let's see if I can just jump it. There we go. <laughs> that actually worked okay. And oh, oh no, I'm not allowed to have that mushroom, am I? I need to now uh, go and try and hurt myself. Let's go and see if I can get rid of these blocks first. There we go. I am now hurt, so I'm going to go and fit through the, the, the hole and uh, try and get through to the uh, the next area. Um, yeah, I, I need to add in a, a, a fire flower, don't I? Actually, I don't think I will. I think the other uh, way I did it then it actually worked quite well. So I think I might just leave it uh, that way around. So hopefully uh, this shell is going to break its way through uh, and then I can uh, go and uh, chase through after it. I of course don't want to go down until it's gone. I think that should be just about it gone now. Is it going to bounce back? Nope. It's still coming. It's still coming. Let's go back down here. I think it's got about one more block to, to go. Um, right, let's go, uh, I don't know, I, I thought it should have been made its way through by now. There we go, it's dropped off the, the other end now. And now I need to make this jump to, to here. And oh look, my cloud is still up there. Okay, <laughs> I can use that to kind of just tease her. She can see it, but she just can't quite about use it. <laughs> right, now let's see if I can go and make this difficult jump. This is going to be tough, actually, because I need to time it with the, uh, the plant and the, uh, the shell. And oh no! Once that's knocked down, there's then no way uh, of being able to, to complete it. Okay, well, let's go back to the uh, the old drawing board. Let's go and maybe uh, sneak this little cloud down here. And I think I'm going to get rid of the uh, that piranha as well, because I think it's just a little bit too difficult. So then this way, if she fails, uh, she should be able uh, to use the, the cloud instead, but it's going to be a lot slower than if she uh, if she made the, the jump. And there was also another bit I didn't like down here where there's just a, a random block. So let's go and uh, get rid of uh, of that and uh, go and put down the, the right block there. And yeah, let me just test this, uh, this ending bit again and uh, see whether it uh, works a little bit better now. So uh, let's see if I can make it by bouncing off the uh, the uh, the turtle, the Koopa. Uh, but if not, I can just go and use the uh, the cloud. And oh, no, I didn't quite make it. I could make the, uh, the pipe uh, a little bit lower. And oh, there's a random spring down there, which I left there. <laughs> I can go and get rid of that as well. Let's go and uh, uh, get rid of this spring. And uh, let's go and make it so this... Um, a uh, pipe is just a, a tiny bit lower. And there we go. I do believe my level is complete. So I'm going to save this and send it to Squashy. Uh, but first, I'm going to go and I'm going to go and play the, the level that Squashy has made for me. Okay, so now it's my turn to try and play Squashy's level. And I think overall, I was pretty nice to Squashy. So hopefully, fingers crossed, she returned the favor. And wh what's this? Okay. Okay, bouncy fly goombas. <laughs> I really want to get whatever is inside of the um the question mark blocks though. So let's see if I can take these guys out. Oh, oh you knocked their wings off. I feel a little bit mean. All right, let's go and uh, grab all of these coins and keep bouncing up and down. I don't think score really matters, but there we go. And actually, I wonder if there's uh, anything hidden in these bricks. Ah, there's at least coins in them. 
It'd be good to, to get a mushroom just to get bigger. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any mushrooms. I'll, I'll leave the coins. I'll be there all day otherwise. And oh, there's a little smiley face. <laughs> there's a little smiley face in the uh, in the bricks down there. That's quite cool. Right, so I guess we can go up or down. Oh, oh there's a mushroom. All right, let's go and group. Easy. There we go. <laughs> if you actually notice, the Goombas are actually the exact same shape as mushrooms. They just kind of got a, a different texture. Uh, they're like absolutely uh, identical. And oh, that wasn't very good, uh, was it? <laughs> I was too busy saying my interesting Mario facts and I ended up failing. Right, let's ignore them. They don't matter. Let's just try and get that mushroom and uh, try and go up the uh, the top way if we can. Everything's just bouncing. Everything's just bouncing around. Makes it really hard. <laughs> right, let's see if we can try and get to the mushroom. There we go. I got the mushroom. Let's get out of here. And also, you might notice the um, the clouds are also the exact same as the um, uh, as the uh, the little bushes down below as well. It's quite cool. Right, I can go along this platform and avoid all of them. Oh no, but there's a piranha plant in there. Look, it's waiting to go from it. Did a, a fireball after me. You know what? I landed right on it. It's okay though. I can go this way. Oh, look, there's another mushroom. And there we go. I grabbed the mushroom. And oh, is this supposed to be a sword? I think it looks like a, a Minecraft sword there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, let's go and, uh, and knock this and keep on going. And oh, there's flying blocks. I didn't realize you can make flying blocks. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go and try and get past all of these goombas. Oh, it says duck as well. <laughs> all right, let's just keep jumping along. There's certainly lots of, uh, of coins in this. And uh, let's go and uh, try and make my way to the end. Let's try and run under it. And oh, there's a, a flying plant plant. There, oh, this is the end here. Oh, look at that. That was a nice jump, and I did it. I completed Squishy's level. <laughs> I think she spent a lot of time trying to make it look pretty compared to me, where I was just building the uh, the level. And she also gave everything wings, which I guess makes sense, seeing as it was built by a, a duck. So there we go. Now, that was uh, Squishy's level. If you want to see uh, Squishy playing the, the level I made, or her building this level, uh, there'll be a link in the description to her video if you want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be going through and playing all of the uh, the different versions of Mario. So that was the, the oldest one, and then we're going to go and do all of the uh, the different ones and uh, yeah build each other some maps and i'm also going to hopefully uh, be building some maps for some other youtubers as well so stay tuned for that but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye hello this is stampy and welcome to a minecraft let's play video and another video in Squishy and my cave den! Knock, 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 Squishy? Knock, 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 knock. Squishy, th Ding this dong. is our house. We Ding live dong. in this house. Excuse me! Excuse oh, oh, Squishy, I'm no, delivering Squishy, it's cookies. nighttime. What? We can sleep. We can sleep in the house. Oh! With the cookies. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Quick. Uh, we've, never, we've never slept in the house before. Have, have we no, slept we in cave den? I think we might have once, maybe. But uh, this is my bed, isn't it? There this we go. Mine. See, look, we can see the beautiful view. Oh, as we, as we I can sleep. actually see. You can actually see Cave Den on my side. I don't know if you can see it on yours. Uh, pretty much. Pretty much, I can see it. We do need to get rid of, and I know we keep saying that those big unsightly pillars coming down from mm. the uh, the sky, the big stalactites holding up the uh, the uh, the torches. That's we true. We do need to get rid of them. How? I think at some point we should have a competition, and whoever loses has to spend the episode getting rid of them because neither of us uh, want to do it. Okay. Do they? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. <laughs> Okay, at some at some point, we're, so basically, whenever a competition comes up, that's going to be what the uh, uh, the loser has to do. They have to go and destroy all of these towers and make it uh, so they come up from the, the ground. She so just covers up cave then, but it might not be you. You don't know what the, the challenge might be. Like first person be a duck. You know, it could be something like that. Is yeah, that the challenge? That okay, that's the challenge. No, no, okay, no, no, first no, person that isn't to the be challenge. a duck that isn't has the to take away that the all no, of I'm the. I'm saying that could be what? the challenge. You know, the challenge could be first person to be a cat as well. Remember. No, but you just said the duck one, so first I'll be a duck, go. That's a I did it, I did it. That's a slim I'm, I win. <laughs> I'm not yeah. doing it, I'm not, I'm not doing it. We'll have a fair competition, <laughs> whatever that will uh, end up being. All right. Um, All anyway, right. right, so I thought today I am going to sort out these animals because it doesn't look, oh, oh, is it, is it bigger in here? Have you extended it? A little bit. I, I, I knocked through <laughs> a wall in the last episode and that was it. Okay, so I'm going to sort it out. And I had an idea, Squishy, for what okay. we can do for not just the uh, the sheep, uh, but for, for all the animals as well. Oh, okay. okay. And what I was thinking of was uh, animal boxes. Okay. Boxes? And so animal like boxes of animals. Okay. Um, okay. So they could be stackable. Stackable boxes of animals. 
Yeah, so Stackles. they won't all be stacked. Some will be side by side as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can they? Are they going to like look like cardboard boxes? Or are they going to be like colourful boxes? I, well, I, I thought they could be the colour of the the animal. Okay, so let me explain this. So basically, I thought we can leave this first box as it is for the the sheep, but just make it so the other uh, wolves are a nicer colour. And then on top of that, I could build another box which is the uh, the same size and fill it full of pigs or chickens or cows or something, and then just right. do a stack of animal boxes uh, going up high. Ah, I like it. Wait, is this going to be the same as your your amazing tree farm stack idea? <laughs> well, it won't be as high. There's, there's, yeah, there'll be less the, there'll be less animals than there there will be trees. Um, I guess so. It won't go too high. I promise. I won't. I won't go silly, squishy. Okay. All right. I promise. Right. So, how, how big is this area? So, I get to start on that. What What are you doing? What are you I'm doing? I'm working on. The, I'm working on the house. Okay. Okay. It does need a bit of decoration. The the front looks lovely, uh, but the uh, yeah the inside uh, still needs a bit of work. I'm so on yeah, it. I guess uh, you do the the house and I'll do this. So what? We're not allowed to look at what the other person's building until the end of the the episode, and then we can uh, we can show what we've uh, created. Ah, yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that idea. Okay. Right. Let's uh let's get to work then. I better I better make this look pretty then. So uh, this is where the sheep are gonna be. So I guess I'll do I do white wool for the sheep, even though we actually have very few genuinely white sheep. <laughs> it just seems like the uh, uh the right colour to to do this. And then uh like we got the uh, the pig spawn eggs, don't we? I could do pigs after that. Oh, yeah, piggies. They have to do pigs. What, what, Okay. Yeah, so I do I do pink for pink pink for pigs and pink then Oh, the only thing Oh, oh no 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 No, I can see no don't come up here. No, don't come up here. So stay away. Stay the away. There's beanie. a creeper and he's Oh no. Oh, look at him. He's really going for it. He's really not giving up on me. Um right, let's That's try good. Where, where is he? I can Shows see him. you behind. Oh no, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's coming. <laughs> I've never seen such a uh, a relentless creeper trying to track me down. Right, let's run in with either sword. hi -ya! Whew. Anyway, what I was trying to say before I was surprised <laughs> is that I don't know how we're going to get um, brown wool. We don't have any cocoa beans, do we? Uh, no. No. Um, oh, wait, do we? I don't, I don't think so. Do I don't think so. I may be wrong, but I don't think so. But the good thing is, is sometimes uh, you just get brown sheep spawning in anyway. So as soon as we get one, if we just look after it, uh, then we'll be able to get brown. So I thought brown wool for the, the cows would make sense. And yeah. then, uh, do you think yellow for the, the chickens? Um, yellow? I thought it would have been like uh, red and orange and white. That's what a chicken color is. Well, I was, I was, I was kind of doing them just one color. Um, for for now, well, and because uh, I'm doing I'm doing white for the the sheep, and so I thought chickens they got like yellow beaks, don't they? Red, red, red for chickens. For the little gobbly bit. <laughs> for the little gobbly bit. See, just when I think of chickens, I don't think of the color red. But I don't want it to be no. yellow. That's no, my why color. not? That's my color. Yeah, but you know, chickens, you know, like little chicks can be yellow. Well, fine. All right. I'll do it red, then I'll do it red, fine. Yes. Anyway, uh, we're not worrying about that for now. Uh, first thing on the, the agenda are the, the piggy wigs. So, um, yeah, I've made a bit of a mess of the, the sheep pen. That doesn't matter for now. Uh, let's go and grab uh, all of the uh, the pink wool we have, and let's do a, a pig pen. So uh, there's one, two, three, four, five. It's five blocks high, the uh, the actual opening. Uh, so, yeah, I just go five blocks high. And uh, luckily, because we have the, the pig spawn egg, uh, it's going to be very easy to get the, the pigs in here. Uh, once we get to trying to do the cows and things, it might get a little bit more difficult. So this is one, two, oh, run out of wool. <laughs> Three, four, five, and then one more for the uh, the top. It's quite big. These are quite big, um, quite big animal boxes, um, actually, uh, okay. as, it, as it turns out. Uh, bigger good. than I than I expected. I'm trying to I'm trying to get a peek looking through the the window. I can't see much changed in the the bedroom. What what are you working on? I'm just working on the downstairs for a bit. Um, not completed yet. I'm I'm struggling actually with these chests because my inventory is getting full. Like I have to like make more chests. It's it's getting it's getting crazy. I don't I don't like it. <laughs> I did have an idea by the way for the uh, the storage room. Okay, yeah. and I think it might be a little bit like. The uh the idea which I had in Cave Den for you know where I, I said about stacking up all of the um mean the, uh, the trees, uh yeah in Sky I think it's a bit like that idea but um 
like in the fact that it seems cool but might be really annoying yeah okay so but my no. idea is so rather no. than yeah. storing no no just, just hit me out because no, it might be cool. it might be actually it could actually be easier okay mm. because what we could do is have a big basement and instead of having just chests we could have chests that are in mine carts okay and then just have a little opening uh, kind of like a vending machine and so rather than uh just going to the chest you could press like the wood chest and it will uh, send the uh, the uh, the chest with the the minecart in up to you. Uh, so then that way, there's only going to be one little opening, and then just whatever button you press, it will send up that uh, chest in a in a minecart. What do you think? That sounds like more work than we should do, Stan. That that sounds like it sounds cool. Don't get me wrong, but it sounds very very difficult. And well, I, I I think building it will be easy. All you need is a trail of uh, redstone to the uh, the actual um. Uh, yeah, to, to the, uh, like, a power rail. That's, and, and we've already got uh, all of the uh, the tracks we can steal uh, from, you know, the place where all the, the minecart tracks are. So I don't yeah. think building it will be hard. The only worry that I had is whether um, it will just be really annoying uh, trying to, uh, you know, like, every time you go to a chest, pressing the button. I don't know if it would be easier to go to a chest, but it would save up a lot of room. And we could even do it. So you fire an arrow to a button, and that sends up the, uh, the chest, and then that way there'll be, like, no redstone whatsoever. Uh, well, how kay. about how about we do that so we can do that from the the house, but we can also just go down to the storage room as well and then just do it as normal as well. I yeah. think it'd be cool. Yeah, I think no, no, no. It's, it sounds really, really cool, sounds, but it sounds really difficult. Are you sure you can do it? Yeah, why not? I'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, what do you mean, me? Like, I mean, you're gonna help me. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna... um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to need a... You can help me with it. It's Honestly, it won't be hard. All it needs to be is like a big row of buttons. And then yeah. just, you know, the button will say, um, you know, this is the egg chest where we keep the eggs. You know, and yes. then you press that button. It sends a trail of redstone uh, to a parallel, uh, which has a chest and a minecart full of eggs. And you press it and all the eggs come to you. And then you've got all the eggs you want. Sorted. Uh, okay. Yeah, doesn't that sound yeah, like it's gonna work? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I like honestly, it. Honestly, honestly, I'm not, I'm not just saying. It. I pr I promise this time. I know sometimes I overcomplicate things, but I just I just want to do something different rather than just building a room and just filling it full of chests like we normal normally do. Uh, I think this will be better, and also I think it will force us to keep things more organized and not get too messy uh, like we uh, normally end up doing. I think as well, uh, which is the okay. the other benefit. Okay. 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 <laughs> right, I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing some pretty good progress on the. Uh, oh no! Why did I say that? No stamps. <laughs> Where are these creepers coming from? It's not. It wasn't too bad actually. That could have been. I could have been worse than a. Uh, <laughs> worse than it was. Oh, where are these creepers coming from? It's not. I that don't dark know. That, here, do you think this? Do you think that they've hidden like a spawner somewhere? I don't think. I don't think there's enough for that. There's just always just a. A steady trickle of googlies attacking us. That, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I just don't know where it's coming from. Right, let's uh, at least try and get the uh, uh, the floor done and some of the walls. I want to get the pigs in. I want to be able to put the pigs in. Oh! I fell down a hole. My bad. Uh, yeah, I want to at least uh, be able to, to get the pigs in. Actually, I should probably uh, do a bit more shearing while I'm down here. I'm just going to go and dump uh, some of this uh, stone in here because it's uh, filling up my uh, my pocket. Uh, you can kind of see how it's going to be, though. Uh, you can see that there's the opening here where the sheep are going to be. Then above that can be pigs, and then we can keep going up. Well, actually, I think I might go only too high and then go across with another two. So we can have sheep, pigs cows and chickens am i forgetting any animals i think that's all of them isn't it um pig sheep cow chickens yeah that's fine okay yeah so so that that's all the the animals we're gonna need so it's just gonna be like two stacked up and then two on a uh, on ground level as well and come back here sheep <laughs> let me go and just try and shear all of these because uh, yeah i also need uh, to finish off this pen uh, as well and i guess the only one that needs uh, grass on the uh, the floor is the uh, the sheep ones because uh, yeah. they need it to grow their no, wool back we need to give them all we need to give all of the animals grass don't you think I don't know. I, I was I was doing a pink floor for the the pigs. Like I think we can uh, like decorate them all. We can all fill them full of things they would like. You know, we we have to guess what they what okay. they would like. But yeah, we can always you know we can put like bells of hay and stuff in. You know, it can, it could be like a, like a hotel, like an animal box hotel. Oh, yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. I want I want it to be nice. I want to treat our, our animals nicely. Uh, so uh, I'm running out of wool. You don't have any more uh, pink or white wool, do you? No, I don't. But I can see a chicken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that isn't... That isn't exactly what I needed, but oh well, thank you, thank you anyway. Right, so I'm it's really okay. uh, running out here. I could go down and uh, do the uh, the ceiling down here with uh, all of the uh, the remaining white wool I have. Did I have any more in here? Yeah, there we go. I got a bunch more white wool, so I can go and start doing the uh, the the roof in here. Uh, I think this will look good. I think this uh, will uh, genuinely be a, a cool design. How is uh, everything going in the the house? Um, I think it's pretty much done downstairs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about the uh, the bedroom? Have you done anything up there? Um, I I'm, I did the roof. I did the roof of the house. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm getting there <laughs> eventually. Everything. Well, shall be we fine. shall we have a think then? Now we're kind of getting like because this is this is episode number ten. So this is like we've hit double digits now. I feel like we're starting to get settled. Shall we start planning like what we actually want to, to do? Like what are we, what's going to be our first big project uh, once the uh, the house and the uh, the animal place is all done and dusted? Um, big project? I didn't project? give you much warning, did I? I kind of sprung that on you. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just like, think of amazing ideas, Squishy. Um, maybe we, we can, I think we should go a bit more exploring. Um. Yeah. But yeah. We, yeah, we still got. We, 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 what we got is we still got loads of quests. Uh, so what we're thinking of doing is kind of alternating. So we spend a few episodes building something, and then you know once we get bored building, we can go on a quest. And then when we feel like we miss home, we can come home and carry on building. So we can kind of switch between the two. I really want to get this um, this big open area down here. I really want yeah. this to be something like this is kind of you know there's a few trees and you know there's. Um, of course, there's Goblin, <laughs> our, uh, our like purple elephant. Our little, our little center, isn't it? Isn't that going to be like our little town center type thing? Like where we can go? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where are these creepers coming from? Look at that one. It's a ninja. There's a ninja creeper waiting to pounce. Don't do wow. it. Stay up there, creeper. No, no, don't. It scare me. Where are they all coming from? <laughs> <laughs> I had to deal with so many this episode. Yeah, so that could be the little center. So well, what can we do there? We could just have like, we could have a few benches and a fountain and stuff. I feel like, I feel like the very center should be just a, uh, I don't know, there should be some sort of model, some sort of standout thing that when, when you look at it, you're going to think, right, this is caved in. Well, we, we already have our ginormous models. We could make, I don't, I don't know. Um... Doing that wrong. Oh, I don't know. What were you thinking? What are you, what are you? You've obviously got something in your mind. I oh, I'm I'm on the verge of an idea. Like I'm like there's an, an idea in a pot, and I'm trying to peek over the pot, and I know the idea is in there, and I can a see pot. the outline of the idea, but I can't see it properly yet. That's what's going on in my brain right now. <laughs> there's a pot in your mind. There's a well, no, like my mind is a pot. My and mind I'm on the is a pot. Of my, my mind is a pot and I'm looking on, I'm on the outside of my mind right now and I'm trying to look into my mind where the idea is. So there's a fully formed idea in my mind, okay? Yes. Okay. But I'm outside my mind trying to look into my mind, uh, but I can't see uh, because there's a lid on the pot. There's a lid on my mind, okay? There's a lid and it's a, it's your, a tough lid and I can't, I'm not strong enough to open the lid on my mind yeah, okay. to, to see what's inside the mind, uh, which is in, in, in this instance a pot, okay? Yeah. So I'm sure. glad you understand. <laughs> so I that's do. the I... that's the problem I'm I'm, I'm having right now. Um, I've done a pretty good start here. Uh, I could try and just fill it in with anything else for now. I really want to get the the pigs in here, um, but at the moment, if I put them in, they're just gonna go and wander off. Uh, I think I wait. I think I wait until I got more pink wool, and then I can go and uh, begin building up the uh, the the walls and go and do the the other animals. Can I can I come and have a have a look at what your your what you've built so far? I'm a, a little bit. Uh, curious. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Um, I'm gonna go and grab Ooh. some more materials and empty. Um, my okay. pockets. So yeah. Right, you, 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 can, you can come. Okay, well I'll show you what I've built this episode first. Okay. Then. Um, it, it's very it's very impressive. And my see. pockets are full. Um, <laughs> okay. The, this, this, this is this is what I've built so far. Um, so it's the the animal boxes. Yeah. Animal boxes, Squishy. Animal boxes, Stampy. Animal, animal boxes. Bo animal bo animal bo looks, I, I, I keep saying it until you're you're impressed. Animal boxes. <laughs> animal I really bo like boxes it. of animals. I yeah? like it. You can get 
I've built enough so you can see what it's gonna be. So this is all gonna be white here, and this is where the the sheep will uh, will stay. Then above yeah. it, that's gonna be the uh, the piggy pen, and then we can have uh, chickens and uh, and cows over to the the right here in the uh, the same. Boxes. Have we thought about how we're gonna get the animals up there? Ah, uh, well, the pigs aren't a problem. Okay, no they can piggy fly. problem. No pig problem to get them in the piggy pen because uh, we have the, the spawn eggs. So they're going to be easy. Oh, um, okay. Then, yeah, the cows and chickens, we're, we're, we'll get on to that. We're, we're, we'll sort that out. This is annoying me. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, this is we annoying could do me. cows at the bottom down here. Okay. Yeah. No problem. And then we could use eggs to get the uh, the chickens up top. Sorted. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. There we go. Right. Do you, mean... do you want to show me what, what you've built? Yeah. I'm just going to empty my pockets. You go ahead first. I'm just going to... Do this. Okay. Right, okay. I'm gonna go and uh, open up old goblin here. Oh, oh no. I think it, I think it's open. Yeah, if I just shut it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna now open up. So when it's up, it's open. We need to we need to remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. I can go and uh, and see what you're you've done up here. I've got so much stuff in my oh, pocket. Dum Hi, Stumpy. Is that you? I can hear coming huh? up the ladder. What? Huh? Who? What? Who's that? Is there someone else up here? Who was? <gasps> Kevin's Kevin! here! Hi, Stampy! Long Kevin! time no see! <gasps> did, did you build Kevin or did he just show up? I don't I just went down. I, I followed you. He wasn't here when I came down. What are you doing here, Kevin? Well, you didn't think that you were going to leave me all by my safe on Skyden, did you? I just had to come and join you. And must I say, what a mighty fine cave it looks like you have here. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. I like your new hairstyle. You've had a bit of a trim, haven't you? It looks, ah, it looks great. thank you. I decided to base it off the trophy you built for me, because I thought it looked mighty cool. Anyway, I'm not just here to chat. I am here to give you food. Yay! Thank you, Kevin. I'm hungry. Well, by now, I shouldn't tell you what you need to do. Go if on, you're do ready, it. Go on, press Go on. my belly. Go! Yay! Yay! Steak! Nom, 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 And nom, I nom, got nom. steak as well! See, Sam, we you, would have Kevin. starved. We would have starved without our I kitchen know. chef. We would have starved here. So it, I'm so it happy. It didn't feel right without you, Kevin. It didn't feel right. Look at no. all that. This is, this the, is this the kitchen then, Squishy? Oh, yeah. What's what's for dinner? Well, we got seeds, lava, Well, bones, we haven't got sticks. a storage room, have we? <laughs> so we can't exactly... Um, eat any of that stuff let me just fill up these furnaces and um yeah I've, look it's actually a full room now there's no no bedrock in sight apart from when you go upstairs and it's pretty much all bedrock um i've got a bit of a problem here stamps so what are we gonna do with this part because this is this is frustrating do i just cover what, what, what's it up wrong? do i just cover up the the bedrock up here um Let's, let's go and have a have a look. Um, like I'm gonna cover up this wall here. I've got a little bit of wood on me, but uh, but this this bit. Do I just cover it? Could we could we make this into something? That's what I was thinking. Could, could we make this into some sort of feature? I was I was gonna make it into a... like a fireplace, but because it looks like ash. But I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure we can make this into something. This could be so. It is a bit. It is a bit annoying. <laughs> we got this. Look, if I stand, if I stand right about, oh, not down here. Let me get back up. If I stand right here, it's like ah, a lovely, perfect little room. And then I turn around. There's just a big, you know, rock <laughs> the big blob. Of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So ah. we, we, we 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 can make we can make that into something. But this is nice. This feels like a proper house it's, now. I know feels what like it a... is. I know what it is. Yeah. We've got damp. <laughs> We've got a bit of mould growing in the house. That's I, I what's guess happened. this can be our this can be our reminder that we're in a cave. Yeah. I guess we can okay. put a sign on it and we say, "Don't forget, you're in a cave." Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. I don't so think I've got a sign things, on me. Things don't look dire. Things don't seem grave. You can be happy even though you're in a cave. Yeah. That, that's yeah. what this can be. That's it can it be can a be. a happy poetic reminder that we're inside a cave. Oh, I mean, there are the windows as well we could look through. And, oh, look, look at that. There's a zombie on top of the piggy pen. Ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> in the, the next episode then, 
We well, can do a little bit more sprucing up uh, to the other uh, house. Uh, I can do a little bit more work on my animal boxes. And uh, yeah, we'll possibly do a little bit more thinking uh, about the, uh, the storage room idea I had, as well as our little town center. Maybe, maybe I'm finally going to be able, uh, able to, to open the, the lid of the, the jar in my mind and <laughs> let all my ideas flow out over the countertop. Uh, but yeah, uh, for now, from the three of us, we want to say thank you all uh, very much for watching and we will see you all later. Bye. Bye, everyone! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs>